Okay. <coughs> so, uh, let's start. I'm, uh, oh, I will present myself. We will speak about uh, migration to Drupal 8. So I'm Léon Cross. I'm uh, from Lyon in France, so I'm Léon from Lyon. It's easy to remember. I'm involved in the Drupal community as a French association president for several years. And I have a, a, a job for food. Uh, it's a cheap way I'm CEO, which means a chief everything officer. So I do plenty of things. I have a little team, we are five. And my nickname is Chipway and Twitter is Chipway or Chipway underscore EN for English. So uh, my company fo is focused on Drupal. We are doing training, advisory, and uh, coaching development. And we are working like uh, firemen on websites to make them uh, on production. So we will speak about a new process, how to migrate from six or seven to eight. A better? Okay. A bit words about the state of migration and how to contribute. And uh, it's for in the intermediate level. So what we do we speak about uh, migration? We speak about what matters for our customers. It's about uh, settings, users, about taxonomy, menus, entity, and content data. This is what matters the most. What, to, what we try to do is to get the same on Drupal 6 and on Drupal, on Drupal 8 and on Drupal 6 or 7. So we have a new process. Uh, the old uh, deprecated uh, way was to use update.php script. It was, uh, we had to overwrite a Drupal 6 website, update in place, on a dev copy of the website, of course. It was a big one-shot process, so we had to begin from scratch after uh, an issue. And we had maybe several or different PHP versions or Dross versions between our sites. We keep update.php for minor upgrades. And the new way is migrate framework. It's a framework. It's really modular. It's one of the main advantages. We can do rollbacks, incremental migration, and it will create Drupal objects. It's a generic, extensible, and we don't touch the source site. So we can't break it. New migration process is we pull objects, data, configuration from a Drupal 6 or 7 site. We process rows. We prepare them. We create objects in Drupal 8. Then we store them. It's like a big over. It was poked in Drupal 7, so the concept works. Uh, Migrate takes some ideas from update.php2. It creates content types and so on. And principle is it works row by row. We have sources, sorry for the typo. Then we have processes, already 17 in the core, and we have destination, for example, vocabulary, users, um, content, entities, and so on. And it's open to future 
as the sources, for example, there is already a, a module called, uh, I think, a WP uh, Migrate. It should use uh, migration, migrate to work. And the migrate uh, to, uh, from D6 to D8, it skips uh, core, ver core versions. Um, why Drupal 6 was a priority? Because of the end of life of Drupal 6 on February 24th. Uh, you have all the migration tools. It's time to migrate Drupal 6 website, but you may need more migration paths if you have specific modules on Drupal 6 site. So, and what uh, does it take into account? It takes all core components, uh, which are included in Drupal 8 core. We have some issue with uh, views by the time, but you can help on it. Uh, it takes configurations like the variable tables and settings and so on. Put all this in the CM configuration management system of Drupal 8. It can take uh, content types and uh, CCK core files plus uh, link uh, field, uh, email, and uh, image cache, and so on. Users, that works pretty well, vocabularies and terms, nodes, and multilingual. And he, he goes from a translation by node to a translation by entity, uh, a uh, field uh, translation, the Drupal 8 way. Uh, last year, we had already 100 migrate templates, but as of uh, Drupal 8.1, they are replaced by, by plugins, and we still have uh, many templates, migration templates in core, but I think they will be replaced by plugins. Uh, I will speak about plugins later. Um, between 6 and 7, there are little changes. Uh, we have entities uh, in Drupal 7. Migration for Drupal 7 is almost done. You can already use it, but we still have uh, things like uh, system uh, migration and so on. You can, uh, uh, you can put the configuration in the Drupal 8 site and it works. You can contribute also uh, to make it done. So I will be with uh, Peñas Quito, Christian, uh, on the sprint room or the print uh, or uh, walkway uh, tomorrow. We intend to have also a Drupal 8 to Drupal 8 migration uh, system. It's for its for future for me. It's intended to repair, rescue a Drupal, 6, a Drupal 8 site for maybe early a Drupal 8 website and so on. Refactor, maybe, and so on, but it's not really our priority today. Uh, we have several uh, modules and tools. In core, we have uh, Migrate, which is a framework. We have a Migrate Drupal, which is intended to migrate between Drupal versions, and we have also a UI, Drupal UI for uh, since uh, Drupal 8.1. You still need some contrib modules like migrate upgrades for specific uh, reasons or for uh, more tools. Migrate plus for doing rollbacks and incremental uh, migration and uh, mapping, uh, source plugin, and so on. Migrate tools, migrate manif manifest, if you want to still use a manifest, I will speak about it, and plugins. So how do we do? You need a Drupal 8 
refresh install. You need Josh 8.14.2, for example, or you may use the UI since, uh, since 8.1. The workflow and prepare is, uh, is this way. You have to clean up your Drupal 6 website. It's really a big recommendation because you have uh, maybe deprecated modules. You have to uninstall them. You may have plenty of deprecated contents which are unpublished, for example. So clean them up. As in uh, IT, we say since centuries, no, since uh, the beginning, we say garbage in, garbage out. If you put garbage in, you'll get garbage out, of course. Uh, first, a second step, you have to list the Drupal 8 target modules, then check their progress, and is there a migration path for each of them? This can uh, refrain your volunteer, uh, your uh, wish to migrate already. Um, on the fresh Drupal 8, you enable all uh, module with target data. So if you, if you have, for example, uh, taxonomy in Drupal 6, you need taxonomy uh, in uh, Drupal 8, of course. And here, if you need some other uh, modules, for example, domain and so on, you have to wait. Uh, there is a caution here. Drupal 8 accepts disabled module data from Drupal 6. So you have to uninstall Drupal 6 module, okay? And clean up the database. Then you migrate to Drupal 8, and after you can refactor, improve your Drupal 8 site. So, if you use the UI, you need a new, a new Drupal 8.1.3, uh, for example, fresh install. You need access to all database. Of, often we, we get the database on our uh, desktop, so it's uh, more powerful. You need access to old files. It can be a copy. And you need a, a theme with target regions. If you want to have block, blocked, uh, block already uh, set, uh, set up uh, in the right region. If not, you can place them afterwards. You enable off needed, all needed uh, modules on the Drupal 8 install. Uh, I already said this. If you have your custom modules or some other country modules, you have co to create plugins, migration plugins, or check if the migration pro plugin already exists. You enable the three experimental modules, migrate, migrate Drupal, and migrate uh, UI. Then you go to your site, upgrade, and you can confirm that you want to go ahead. You type in uh, the uh, info to access the data we need. Then you get a list of missing up upgrade paths, for example, views, and so on. You also have the available upgrade paths. So if it's OK for you, you can click on Perform Upgrade. Uh, so, for available migration paths, you have source to destination. So, you can see, for example, from menu, we go to menu link content, system, and menu UI, for example. From system to file and system, and so on. So, you can check this. Then you click on perform upgrade. You wait, maybe three minutes, maybe 
10 minutes, maybe more. Uh, you can have uh, timeouts. We're through the UI. Then you, I recommend to check the logs. And you may have uh, tens or hundreds of pages of logs only on migrate Drupal UI. And then you filter. I like to filter on, on critical and, uh, and app. And there, it's uh, on a real, real website from a customer. No problem. OK. The other message are we migrated a term, we migrated a node, and, and so on. If you have plenty of uh, errors here, maybe you have to roll back or try again. So, how does it work in the back end? It replicates configuration first. Settings, content types, entity bundles, all the structure and parameters. Then it imports content one row at a time. Here you have a method uh, which is called the prepare row. So you can act and say, I want to change uh, something. Then it says, you check your log, you check your website. Is it OK? Maybe we lost uh, blocks, but, but they are already there. We have just to place them. OK. We, maybe we lost some parameters for Drupal 6 or Drupal 7. We just uh, set them. Then you can finalize. A finalize is all that kind of stuff. <coughs> uh, shall you use uh, Drup Drush or UI? Uh, UI is really the easy way. But you have no choice. You, have, you do all migration available from, for example, D6 to D8. No parameters. You need only those three modules. If you migrate via Drush, you can do partial custom all, all migration. You, you need more modules. So this one and this one, of course. Migrate upgrade, migrate tools, and migrate plus. So you will have plenty of commands available. You can uh, skip uh, resource limit with Drush. So might be better for a big uh, website. You may use uh, Drush to rebuild your fresh website. For the first time, it can be really useful. And if you uh, contribute or test uh, things, it's really useful. You can use also uh, Drupal Console if you prefer. Uh, some example of uh, Drush commands uh, from uh, migrate tools. For example, you can list my, uh, you, you can use migrate uh, upgrade to generate migration. Then you can list them with MS or migrate status. You can run imports. You can run rollbacks or stop cleanly. Uh, a, a, an interesting point is migrate is identifiers. We have all the identifiers needed to know what was the source, what is the destination, and a specific UID. So we are able to roll back. We are ab able to reimport uh, one uh, one item, for example, and so on. So it's really really powerful. You can see migrate plus for more uh, commands. Um, if you want to customize, you can use uh, manifest files. You will need a, a contrib modules. It was in uh, Migrate Tools, but it's uh, a part now. 
you can choose manifest from UI. I said it's uh, no parameters, okay? You have a, a method preparo uh, to manage and process and prepare and, and clean up uh, your uh, content. You can say I still have uh, uh, garbage, so I can clean them with a preparo method. Uh, you can convert, you can populate new fields with defaults and so on. Or maybe move a block in a new region. Here is an example of a manifest.yml uh, file. You say, uh, I want these migrations and uh, I think it should, uh, it should uh, evolve because we are going to plugins. I suppose it it's, it's, uh, works, but I didn't try it uh, since uh, several months, so mm, try it first. So you say, I want uh, to migrate this, this and this. Don't worry about the order. Uh, Drupal uh, migrate will uh, order them the right way. If you need to create a plugin, uh, I, I said now we, we do not use any more templates. It's a theory, but we still have many. We use uh, plugins. Uh, do you, did you heard already about Drupal plugins? Yeah? Anybody? Okay. Uh, plugins are really awesome. You can use them to do a migration for custom uh, cases. Uh, it's a specific uh, file with a class inside. Uh, one file, one class like vocabulary.php. You can uh, check this example in core modules. Uh, you can see here, you have uh, in the core module taxonomy, under us, RCRC plugin migrate, which is a standard uh, plugin uh, pass. We have the type of a plugin, of a migrate plugin, for example, source, process, destination, this one is for day six and vocabulary.php. It can be a good example, or you can find many more in the core modules. You code it, you put it in your modules following the same, uh, the same uh, PSR4, PSR sorry, passes. Uh, you can add the configuration file or use some existing one. Um, process plugin are really useful to change things. They are chainable. If you read the documentation, which is not uh, really updated, but uh, the principle is there. Uh, we speak about uh, pipelining. So we do process, for example, I do, uh, I do, uh, transliterate uh, a name from a label to a machine name. So I tried, so I need after to say, oh, uh, does it already exist? So there is another, uh, another process and so on. And I can do many process on the same row. Uh, you can find uh, 17 uh, pro already existing processes uh, in this folder. Uh, migrate SRC, as, uh, SRC plugin migrate process. You can catch some from the core, copy and uh, modify it. It's a way to do plugins. A useful command if you need the list of migration available, this one, I like it to rebuild a Drupal 8 uh, site quickly. I didn't try this one since uh, new migration uh, manifest module, so it should be the same, but I'm not sure at all. 
And now about the state of migration tools. I had many problems with my uh, computer, so I couldn't really update this part. So uh, take it with care. And if you are interested, you can come tomorrow. We can discuss and you can help on migration. So you can use the Drupal 6 to Drupal 8 migration. As I said, you you may need more modules. Drupal 7 to Drupal 8 works. It's not uh, comprehensive, but it works mainly for many cases. Uh, this is a future for me. Um, Migrate Plus is really a contributed module to have if you want to roll back incremental uh, migration and so on. Views, today you have to rebuild your views. I have a customer, they had to put their Drupal 8 website in production on uh, mid-July. They were, they were really frightened by this uh, deadline. We, we worked uh, one day about on migration we do uh, we did the test we brought their drupal 6 to drupal 8 then they rebuilt the views for maybe five minutes one maybe more for some of the views but now they have the drupal 6 contents co users taxonomy terms and so on with new views new menus and so on so they are really happy. They have one month left before the deadline. So it's it's uh, really impressive. I think Drupal 8 is awesome, but migration is awesome too. We still have work. So a state of the art migration. I said this is not comprehensive. We have to work on also on documentation and contrib modules, for example, domain and, and many others, um, testing. So you are welcome to help. And uh, I didn't have time to check the roadmap before we had a, a meta issue. Uh, uh, it's not clear for me. I will uh, clear it up uh, this, uh, tomorrow with uh, Penasquito. Uh, how to contribute? You can join the uh, IMP group. You have information there, you have links and so on. There is an IRC channel, Drupal Migrate. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, you can go to drupal.org slash IRC. Um, this one, uh, the API is not, uh, is not uh, up to date, so we need uh, documentation uh, contributors. There is a weekly hangout, but it's at a time for us in Europe, not really <laughs> easy to participate, but you could try. Uh, if you are uh, contributors which, uh, who uh, are beginning, you can go to getting involved. And you're uh, in a Drupal Dev Day, so it takes the opportunity to come and ask for mentors. Uh, there are many people who can help you for your first contributions. You can uh, create plugins for your uh, custom uh, or contrib module or for other contrib modules. You can create plugins for Drupal 7, uh, 8 or reroll patches and so on or review patches. There are many tasks. Uh, for example, test, you don't need to be technical. You can uh, come, you have your 
your Drupal 6 or Drupal 7 uh, site on a USB key. Don't forget to get the database too. So files, database. You test it, you come, we can help you. Then you report, you say it works, it doesn't work. This help uh, the migration team. You can find Sprint here on a program. There is a link at the, at the right uh, uh, bottom. Sprint planning document. You can report what you find or what you found. And there, there are tasks for everybody. You can be technical or non-technical. We can find you some tasks to work on. Don't worry, <laughs> we have a lot to do. Um, if, you, if you are looking for an, an issue, you can go to uh, the issue of uh, Drupal Core. The link is there. You select component migration system, but for the first time it's not the best way because there are many things to do. If you look at this issue, issue queue, sometimes you have issue we are updated frequently, so you say, oh, I was beginning to try to work on it, but it's already two steps ahead. So ask for a mentor. He will uh, give you a task and help you to do it. Uh, and you have uh, things to do for anybody. Uh, some congrats and credits uh, to the people who helped me uh, make this uh, presentation. Ryan Will, I, I got many slides from him uh, last year and all those guys uh, worked uh, hard on migration. Maybe uh, next year there will be your name there. Hope. And so on. So thank you. Uh, that's time for the question. I, I will put the slides on this link uh, later, but uh, I suppose it, there will be also uh, on uh, Drupal Dev Day's uh, website. Okay. Do you have uh, questions? Yes, Joao? <laughs> Uh, the question about uh, uh, from uh, Joao was uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, I, <laughs> I shortened this. <laughs> tomorrow, uh, or will the sprint be only on migrate to Drupal 8 for core mainly, or contrib modules, or can we extend it to other cases, for example, importing data? Uh, as we can do with uh, feeds uh, module on Drupal 7 today. I don't know, you can come and say, uh, I would like to work on this kind of uh, case or task, and uh, it's open. 
I think the, the main documentation in, uh, is uh, taking examples uh, from core because uh, documentation pages about the migrate API are not, uh, are not uh, up to date for me. I think uh, you have, for example, on documentation, you have uh, uh, YAML files about uh, processes, how to use processes. I suppose you can use it, but uh, I didn't try uh, this week, so uh, I, I would have a look uh, in core modules, uh, examples of, of plugins. I think if you are working on your module migration, work, uh, do plugins instead of uh, to migration templates today. Uh, as you stated, uh, you have to Put, you have to put a migration path for your module before uh, saying it's a stab stable version. Other question? Sorry for my, my English, but <laughs> maybe uh, you could understand. <laughs> Did you have a question? <laughs> You're very keen. Uh, any other question? So I invite you to come tomorrow and find us. We, we will put a, a kind of sign about uh, we work on Migrate, OK? Yeah, uh, what's your first name? Nathan. Uh, Nathan said, uh, we have plenty of modules, we have plenty of uh, solution of way to migrate, so it's a bit confusion. And of course, you, you may have a really complicated uh, Drupal, uh, Drupal 6 or 7 website, so it may be harder to migrate. Uh, I, I agree, of course. We still to work on all those contrib modules to have a migration pass and so on to get the data for, from our customer to Drupal 8, of course. Any other question? Okay, so I hope you enjoy your Drupal Dev Days and uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.